Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel and in today's video we're talking about the stem. The stem is a part of a plant that provides linkage between the roots and the other parts of the plant such as the leaves, flowers and the fruits. They also provide support to these area parts of the plant. The main part of a stem is divided into two. We have the nodes and the internal. The nodes of a plant are the point in which the pod develop into leaves, flowers, and fruits. While the internal nodes have to do with the space or distance between each node. We have the forms of stems, under which we have the strong or erect stems and the weak stems. The strong or erect stems comprise of a lot of variety, under which we have the unbranched erect stem which is characterized by scars of fallen leaves called cordex and this could be found in palm trees then we have the jointed erect stem which is characterized by solid nodes and hollow internals called crop and this could be found in bamboos and lastly we have the unbranched erect area shoots of onions which is characterized by clusters of flowerings called moving on Let's talk about the weak stems. The weak stems comprise of different varieties as well, under which we have the trailers, which are plants that possess or do not possess rooting as their node. Then we have the creepers, which are plants that possess rootings in each of their nodes and the tough branches while creeping on the ground. And lastly, we have the climbers, and these are plants that develop special parts that enable them to attach themselves to objects while climbing the object. When a trailing plant is prostrate, it is said to be procubain and plants in this category include the knots weed and when a trailing plant raises to a point and starts rising, they seem to be decomping and plants of this category are the cucumber and when a trailing plant tends to have a lot of branches lying on the ground, it is said to be a diffuse and an example of a diffuse plant is the pig whip. So now let's look at some examples of creepers. The first we have the runner. The runners are, are, are sub area stems, modifications of long internal and creepy stems and good example of this plant is the strawberry. Then we have the suckers which are modified stem structure found in plants like the bananas, plantains and so on. And then we have the stolon. And now stolon is a plant that have stems that are curved towards the ground that once they touch the ground that is moist it tends to form a new plant from the node that is it will develop a root on that node or that stem part that touches the ground I mean an entirely new plant and a good example is the me or pepper me and next we have the offset and offsets are plants that can stand on their own that is at each point of the plant they tend to form both so now let's look at some examples of climbers the first we have the twiners the twiners have rope legs and they use these rope legs structures to fold themselves around an object while climbing it and a very good example of plants belonging to this category is the morning glory in Pomia purpurea. And then we have the liners. These are plants that contain or they are possess wooding as they are usually rope like but are very wood. And a very good example is the etandia. And these plant structures are found in the forest. And lastly, we have the tendry. And the tendry kind of stem is found in plants that possess um, structures. And these um, structures are modifications from either the stem or the leaves and they use the structures to aid themselves with any objects they intend to attach and plants going to that category includes the includes the passion flower okay so now let's look at the functions of the stem the stem possesses a lot and lots of functions we have one they transport water and nutrients up from this from the roots all the way to the leaves two they transport sugars from the leaves to the rest of the plants. They provide support to the leaves, flowers, and fruits. They are the main route of water transportation from the roots to the leaves. And in most scenarios, they tend to be responsible for nutrient storage. And lastly, they play a vital role in protecting the plant. So that's a wrap for today's video. If you like the video, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Thank you for watching.